The school district of Philadelphia will give an update on back to school safety days after its workers voted to strike over the same thing. So Shana has the latest because the clock is ticking because school starts next week. Yeah, literally a week from today, and it's also the same day that this union is set to um, strike if their negotiations don't go as planned in terms of the demands that they want. And that is what it's all about when it comes to the school district of Philadelphia, because they're preparing to send kids back to school and the union and the uh, union workers are essentially uh, preparing to not even show up on the first day if those demands aren't met. So what are we talking about? Who are we talking about, I should say, when it comes to these union workers? So we're talking about your bus drivers, we're talking about your mechanics and your attendants, really the support staff that make this well-oiled machine we know as a school district of Philadelphia really run here. And school employees and union leaders are saying that those safety uh, demands uh, have not been met by district officials. Workers by uh, the service employee union held a vote on Saturday to decide whether or not uh, if those strikes, uh, the strike will happen if it's not met by August 31st. The union says about 2,000 school district employees are represented under this expiring contract. And union officials mentioned that these negotiations pretty much have been on stall, Mike and Alex, because because of fair pay and standardized training um, that has not been uh, given to the workers to adequately and safely do their jobs. And the, pretty much what they had said over the weekend, the union workers, they're prepared to make the sacrifice to not uh, work and lose wages if those demands aren't met. There's much sacrifice for striking because of, you know, the, the wages, the money and all that, you know. So, I mean, we just got to have faith and we got to get courage and we got to fight the good fight of faith. That's all we got to, we got to do. So August 31st being significant for two particular reasons, kids going back to school and if those demands aren't met by the school district of Philadelphia, it could be a messy first day of school. We're talking if the bus drivers don't show up, what is that going to look like for transportation needs? All of those questions are still looming and the school district has literally a week to get it together or it could spell a really funky beginning to the new school year. And like later at 1030, we do have a press conference going on between uh, the school district and the city officials to talk about the safety procedures. So we're sure that a lot of those questions are going to be coming up in the next week.